Okay, so here is the long overdue Dust Monkey tutorial on how to make a uh, military item, so that's webbing, pouches, tactical gear, etc. Go from this, looking all kinds of new, although well, not in places because it's in my workshop and therefore gets dirty. But as you can see, pretty much untouched, pretty new, clean looking, and make it look like that. So, hopefully, you can see that they look markedly different from one another. So, operation from this to that. So what do we have in front of us? We have two different kinds of like sanding bricks. One is a bit finer, one's a bit coarser. That's just to help break down the edges. We've got this cool tool, which is like brass, uh, brass brush bristles. I don't, know, I don't know what this is called. I call it the scraper. Uh, then we've got my old favorite, dirty down in yellow ochre, that's the edges. Then we've also got some uh, weathering pigment. Um, this one is from a company I've only just had literally arrived today. So on it says a brand somewhere, but I don't know. Um, and then spray paint, one black, one brown. Um, so yeah, that's what you need. That's it, this is it. Not much, you don't need a lot of things, just some things. So, let's move these slightly out of the way. That are out of the way. So, step one. I find this is always really useful. Open it up, put inside it something a bit more solid to give it more of the shape it will have when it's sat on your webbing with you know magazines inside it, etc. Saying that, I've actually taken some of that out. So we're gonna put that inside just to bulk out the top. Give it more of that defined edging and shape that it will have when it's sat on your belt rig, on your gear, etc. So first things first, you take the coarser sand and brick and you start to break down the edges Starting to get there now, as you can see, all the edges are now pretty frayed. Which is what you were going for. You got some nice tearing going on. Nice and soft and frayed up there now. I've meant to cut myself, as you do. So then the next step, which is black spray paint. Always a good idea to have a rag or something around as well, just to wipe if you need to. I always test first, make sure the paint coming out, and then. What you want to do is what I like to do is I follow the lines of what I am painting. Like lines of use. It's almost like you're shadowing it, you're, you're building on artificial shadow almost. Also, of course, important not to forget to lift up that flap, especially for the painting stage. So now, you can see, looking a lot darker now. So now we go back with this. So 
of light in it up. Wear the paint a bit more into the fabric itself. bottom of it, so that's going to pick up a bit more grime, a little bit of brown, a step again. So, if you remember what it looked like at the start, like that. Now, at this stage, the next step, get all dirty down. So, with this, you want to do the edges again, or where it's likely to rub up against whatever your environment is. So this colour may not be the colour for you, depending on where your setting is, or at the time kind of event but I like to at least have like dab and rub and then just to break it down into the fabric a bit more so the wax is less sort of less of a highlight and then rub it in with some material as well and that gives it a slight highlight but nowhere near as severe as at the start Slowly build that up until you end up with that versus what you started off with. Notice there's a bit of a few differences between the two. This one here has had a few more steps done, a bit more work and everything, and as a result of about an hour just in that one pouch. This of course is like a speed version. Just showing you that what you can do something fairly good looking fairly quickly with a minimal amount of supplies so there you go speed attempt military pouch likes follow subscribe and all that jazz